Good morning and welcome back my lovely students. I hope you all are studying well and doing your work sincerely. So please give your attendance in comment box right now. Hurry up. I'm waiting. You must mention your name, class and section for marking attendance. And do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's zoom into the world of bones. But before that, I want to ask you one question. Can you see your bones? Answer me. Well, the answer is no. You can't see your bones but you can feel them as they are underneath your skin. I'll show you one example right now. So kids, this is my hand and uh, let's identify the bones, okay? This upper portion is skin. This one is uh, the upper portion and below it you will be having muscles, different kind of nerves and uh, various other things that we will be studying later on in this chapter. But right now you need to identify the bone. See, this one, this one, these all are your bones. This is the sound of your bone because they are hard. Feel the bone here also. This portion, this one is your bone right here. You can also repeat like same. Just feel the bone of your hand and bones are really very hard bone is a substance that forms the skeleton of the body and bones are really very important in life of a human so we have 206 bones overall in our body and uh, some are really big and some are small. They differ according to the size and shape. So bones are six times stronger than steel. That's why they are very hard structure present inside human body. And uh, you know, we must intake calcium to get stronger bones. And the basic function of the bones is to protect our inner organs that are very delicate and soft so it protects our internal organs and it also provides strength to our body basically uh, we walk we jump we move and we do various activities just because our bones provides us strength and uh, with the help of muscles which i'll tell you later on the in this chapter we are able to move from one place to another so I hope you are now very well familiar with the bones. I hope you are now familiar with the bones. Okay, let's do some fun activity again. Open your mouth. Now close it. Again open your mouth. And now close. Now stand properly and raise your hands and bend forward and touch the ground repeat this five times i'm giving you few seconds any guesses well this is our today's topic okay i'll tell you all about skull and backbone Let's study about skull. 
It is the bony structure that forms the head in the human skeleton and it is also known as most complicated structure of human body. It protects our brain from any kind of damage and supports the structure of the face. You know kids, in total we have 22 bones in our skull out of which 8 are flat bones and 14 are your facial bones. The top portion includes 8 flat bones which are interlocked with each other and the lower portion consists of 14 facial bones which consist your eyes, jaws, nose etc. So these bones are joined together very closely. All bones of the skull are fixed except lower jaw. Only lower jaw can be moved which allows us to chew food and to talk. And as you know that uh, our skull protects the brain. So that's why it is also known as vital part of our skeletal system. And uh, I really hope that uh, all the concepts related to the skull is clear to you. Let's study about backbone, essential part of human body. The flexible row of bones stretching from the base of the skull to the tailbone is known as your backbone. It is also known as spine or vertebral column. These are the another names of your backbone. Okay. And it starts from the brain to the tailbone. The word backbone is clear in front of you as the name suggests itself the bone which is present at the back side of your body. This is known as backbone. So it is one of the most important structure of human body. It helps us to stand and sit. I repeat. It helps us to stand and sit. Here you can see the movement of the head going forward and backward. And this is your backbone or you can say spine. Okay, let's have a detailed study about it. Here you can see this uh, single line, but this is not a single bone. Here we are having 33 different bones. Okay, uh, so all small small bones when combined together they are known as vertebrae okay so uh, you can see it helps us to bend forward backward and to perform different activities so backbone or spine can bend because it is not made up of single bone but it is made up of 33 bones known as vertebrae all the vertebrae are linked together to form long bony backbone. And kids, don't you forget that it protects your spinal cord and the spinal cord is present inside this vertebral column. Okay. And this is the end position of your backbone. It also protects your nerves and blood vessels that run down from the brain to up to this part your backbone starts from your skull's uh, bottom part and it ends up to this part this is your main backbone okay it allows you to bend forward and to bend backward you can perform any kind of exercise just because of the backbone so this backbone is very flexible that's why we are able to move in any position we want. Okay. And without backbone, we won't be able to stand erect in an erect manner. We won't be able to stand in a uh, standing position. And uh, so that's why backbone is very essential part of a human body. So I hope everything is clear to you about the backbone that it is having 33 small bones known as vertebrae and uh, it protects your spinal cord plus your nerves and your uh, blood vessels. So students let's have a quick recap of uh, 
our today's topic that is skull and backbone so starting from the skull it protects your brain supports the structure of your face and total we are having 22 bones inside our skull out of which 8 are flat bones and 14 are your facial bones this upper portion will be called as flat bones and the lower one which protects your eyes, nose, jaws, your cheekbones will be known as facial bones. Here we are having backbone which is also known as spine. It protects the spinal cord. It also protects the nerves and the blood vessels. Total we are having 33 bones and the small bones they are called vertebrae. The other name of your backbone is also known as vertebral column. And uh, I'm giving you one homework that you need to search out the scientific name of backbone and please mention it very quickly in the comment box. I'll be waiting for your answer and I'll see who will answer me very quickly. I repeat scientific name of backbone. You need to search this question. Kids, if you want to note it down in your rough copy, so you can note down right now. You can pause the video and you can note all the important points. And this is the definition of spinal cord. It is a long tube-like structure that begins at the end of the brain and continues down to the bottom of the spine. It connects brain to other body parts. And nerves. Nerves, it is a bundle of fibers that means thread-like structure that receives and sends messages between the body and the brain. The last one is blood vessels, a tube through which the blood circulates in the body. So you can note all these terms in your rough copy as well. Students, let's start your classwork. Okay, so take out your classwork copy and uh, mention date, chapter number, chapter name, classwork and this is your introduction. So you will write key points, skeletal system, joints, cartilage and muscles. That means this is all the things we are going to study in this particular chapter. So I am giving you few seconds to watch it very properly and I am uh, I'll be providing you PDF also on your school website. So you can note it down from there also. And in my next video I will be giving you glossary of the same chapter. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, keep learning, keep shining and keep smiling. We shall meet again soon in our next video. Goodbye.